everybody, and welcome <coughs> to another session of Pair of Socks Lost here on Hero Club Live. We are Hero Club, and this is not the main thing we do on Hero Club. No, the main thing we do is our podcast where we take our TTRPG sessions that we record live around the table, and we painstakingly edit them down with sound effects and music into these tight, taut little audio anthologies. Um, you can start wherever you wish um, with any of them. We have tons of different genres. Let's list some of them out, shall we? We have, um, we have animal pirates. We have western. We have, uh, we, we, we have space. Go, go, go. We, we, we have, uh, Tarantino send-ups. We have, oh, we were just talking about, we have Christmases. Two different kinds of Christmases. One with toys, for sure, and one with uh, paladins. Um, wh wh what else do we have? Uh, you, you know what? If I missed any of them, and I did... How about you just go prove me wrong in the comments by listening to all of them, and then you'll be a bigger expert than me, and that's fun. And also you get to prove me wrong, and that's the best thing possible. Um, we're going to get into the game, but first, let's meet our players and talk to them a little bit. Um, let's start with uh, Hannah. Hannah, let's start with you tonight. Tell us who you are, who you're playing, and anything else you might like to say. Hi, my name is Hannah. I play Marabella. Raven Eye, a level seven cleric of the Grave Domain. Love it, feels familiar now. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Uh, my fun fact today is another anatomy themed one because that's uh, just what we're doing. Um, but every day, your kidneys filter 200 liters of blood. Good job. Right? <laughs> that's also so much They do blood. so much. I know, right? And another fun fact, this is a bonus. We cannot build a filtration system that's as good as our kidneys are. We like our technology isn't there yet. Still, which how cool is that? Yeah, apparently. A campaign that takes place inside the human body. <gasps> blood cells fighting. Have you seen Osmosis Jones? I've seen the movie. It's a great Have you seen movie. the Magic Zip. School Bus? Yes. Yeah, but D and D it. Yeah, we 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 D &D we definitely could. Cells. I mean, I will say, D Dimension Twenty just did one inside the mind. So oh, they just, yeah, they just yeah. did an inside but out. But but they did an inside out. We it's an adjacent thing. We're gonna go into the body, right? Yeah. Yes. We could, eh, that's, mm -hmm. that's something to think it's about. It's gonna be a Paul Thomas Anderson inside the body send up. Christ I don't know God. how that would work. The, I don't the, know. You said it, and I was like, that does sound like a season we've already done. Like you said that, and I was like, that sounds exactly like a thing we've done already. Uh, specifically Paul Thomas Anderson version. All right. Moving on, let's talk with Marty. Marty, tell us who you are, who you're playing, and anything else you want to say. Hello, everyone. I'm Marty Abby Schneider. I uh, play Golzog Intestine Scar. Uh, he's a fearful, kind of afraid of his own shadow orc fella. And uh, I'm also drawing everybody. Uh, great to Great to be here. Wonderful. All right, let's move on to Jasmine. Jasmine, tell us who you are, who you're playing, and anything else you might like to say. Hello, I'm Jasmine. I am Zara. She is a level seven rogue warlock fighter doll. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, you don't even need to say anything else because we're just going to keep tacking shit onto your character that you just have to keep saying and saying and saying. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for being here, Jasmine. And John. John, tell us who you are, who you're playing, and anything else you might like to say. Hello, my name is John Madison. I play uh, Tone Zazuru, an arcane chef who's lost his sense of taste and recently discovered uh, he had a brother. Uh, and I... Um, the sign that I learned in time for spooky season, this is spooky for Halloween, if you were trying to say spooky. This also means- Do simple. it again. Right, I haven't done it yet. He hasn't done oh. <laughs> I was looking down. Huh. Thank you. Oh. That's spooky. I genuinely love this uh, new, new fact thing that you're doing, John. It's making me very happy every time. Um, also, hey, thank you, everyone who is here tonight on this off night of this week. Um, thank you for joining us on a Wednesday. Uh, thank you for indulging us. I'll say it right up top uh, at the top of this really episode. Next week, Tuesday is Halloween. So we're not going to stream on Halloween. Everyone go have a fun Halloween. I believe, and I'll put it on socials, I might 
stream, like a, D, uh, a DM's corner. We haven't done one of those in months, and a lot of shit has happened since the last time we did a DM's corner. A lot of things have changed, and a lot of I have a lot of opinions and ideas about what's going to happen. So none of them can watch it, but I think I might do a DM's corner on Halloween because I don't really do anything on Halloween anymore. Um, so. What, Marty? On the day itself, you do plenty of stuff around Halloween. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The day you're itself. You're fun. I, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not fun. But that brings me to me. I am your Dungeon Master, Dylan McCullum. Um, and this is Pair of Socks Lost. Pair of Socks Lost is based off of the 5e adventure book Wild Beyond the Witchlight. But it's, it's really... It's not anymore. I mean, again, the names are the same, but it is... It, it's barely is Fable even Rise in uh, is Fable Rise in it? Uh, you For know, sure, yeah. The, no, Fable Rise isn't in... There is no Sky City in the, in the book. Fable Rise is a name of a place that was a supplement for A Wild Beyond the Witchlight, but the the place that it is ha is not at all uh, a you, city in the sky. Um, you made that, that up. Yeah. Uh, other than the name. But like, Fable, that's really cool. As soon as I stepped that foot in cool. Fable Rise, I was like... This had to have been a Dylan creation, and I also felt like it, it's, it feels very Final Fantasy coded a little. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> like, yeah, was... for, for those who don't know, <laughs> I play the shit out of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> I play it all the time, and so I have always said that with my campaigns, I wear my inspirations on my sleeve, and I haven't quite yet said Final Fantasy. But John, you called me out, you son of a bitch, and you're Actually, right. Yeah. So as soon as we landed, I was like, "Is this Lindblom?" <laughs> um, so a, uh, call, uh, only a reference for me and Dylan. Um, so Wild Beyond the Witchlight, it is a five adventure book. It's based on that. It's also based off of a lot of books and stories that you know and love. Um, you know, Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, Narnia, Phantom Tollbooth, Final Fantasy. All of those things wrapped into one, and I make my friends walk through it, uh, and basically go through my own little fan fiction, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, yeah, we do not have a Natasha this week because of the schedule change. Uh, I am so sorry to Natasha for that, but we're used to this song and dance. We're just players playing D&D here, so let's have a good time. Uh, let's get right on into the recap, shall we, gang? A lot's been happening. Ooh. Last we left off. Our party was a little bit scattered. But they made their way into the taste of home, following a turtle who claims to be Tone's half-brother. Handsome half-brother. How could I forget? Handsome half-brother. Tomas. Odd that this brother should be named the same thing that Tone named the little tomato. What we now learn is a shared familiar, an oddity in any kind of world of magic even in the Feywild. Tomas welcomed the group in, awkwardly and nervously tried to explain who he was, why he existed, anything that's going on in the city. And they had a nice catch-up. At least a small, simple catch-up. On the outside, Zara... In the doll body of Edie, still did not make herself known to the party. She skulked around the restaurant district of Fable Rise, trying to figure out which restaurants had any kind of ties to the Lollipop Guild or the guild that she finds herself in, the Weaver's Guild. She was able to see a few of the shops had some symbols of the Weaver's Guild and made her way on top of the roof of the Golden Swill, where she met Pavel, the tiny tin soldier who clearly has a history 
with Edie. And, because of an insane deception roll right off the bat, still believes that Edie is there, talking to him. Zara went inside to see what the tinkerer, the potential weapon maker of the weaver, had in store. She walked behind a velvet curtain and saw an old man tinkering with certain items and was able to steal something that looked heavy, metallic, a little like a crossbow or a gun, potentially, and went off. Pavel then found his way into the Taste of Home to explain to them that their friend, Golzog, had been taken. Golzog had in fact been taken to the Pillow Fort, or at least not the hotel, but a different kind of Pillow Fort. Seemingly the Darling family's secret or perhaps known prison where he encountered a very odd cellmate. Sir Talavar, imprisoned there as well. And that is where we left off. All right, gang. So, you are all still, uh, meaning Griselda, basically everyone except um, <laughs> Zara uh, and Golzog, you are still in The Taste of Home. Um, Pavel, if you remember, just kind of explained to you that, you know, we would probably have to get, do a prison break of some kind to get your friend out, but also that this place, this restaurant has ties to his guild. So this was actually a pretty good place to, um, talk. Um, Pavel takes out, um, a little stone for, for you. It's like a, a true pebble. Uh, w being so small in his hand. Hey, glory hoof. Yes, I'm with them now. We are going to be at the taste of home. E.D. should be at the Golden Swill. Come get her when you have time. Um, all right, everyone. Hey, follow me. Uh, Tomas has never really experienced Pavel before, it, d even in this city, maybe has seen him once in a while, but Tomas goes, um, air flying, no, um, so, I excuse me, wh who are you, uh, why are you just walking, as you see Pavel just kind of confidently walking towards the back, why are you just walking towards the cellar all, uh, confident-like, that, that, that's, that, that, I have a job to do, that's not... Exactly good for me if you if you do that. Pavel it, it, just kind of brushes him off. No, it's best to let him work. But, but and you look over and you see um you see that big uh oh uh god that big hobgoblin not hobgoblin what is it called. <laughs> Fully forgetting. Bugbear. Bugbear. You see the big bugbear? Bugbear? Yeah. Uh, kind of give a curt nod to Pavel. As Pavel, like, puts up a hand. All right. Come on. Follow me. And Pavel leads you all into the back room. Do you follow? Yes. I do. Okay. Is Tones half brother handsome? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Wonderful. Um, I regret nothing. I didn't expect you to regret anything. Um, Griselda, un unsmiling, walks forward. You see her, oink! With Ladybug just in her arms. You go down into the cellar, and Pavel goes, All right. So. A couple of my compatriots are going to come along. I can't invite, involve all of the Weaver's Guild, but I have my... my faction with me. Now, luckily... 
Yeah, in some ways. Luckily, if your friend was taken by the Darling family, he will not be on any Skyguard record. No. He is most likely being held in the true Pillow Fort. Not the hotel, but... A prison. Of some kind. We try not to get involved with the Darling family, but the truth is... At this point, I believe... Very strongly... That you all have a very important part to play in this rebellion. And so we'll need Golzok. And as such... We may be pissing off the Weaver's Guild. It would be best if they had no idea we were... I mean, we might be pissing off the Darling family. It would be best if they had no idea that we were involved at all. So that is what we're going to try to plan out. A way to get us in and out without much of an issue. Although, Can I go out on a limb? Yes. Yes. I don't fucking like the Darling family. Right. Um, That's it. You're but I'd like it on the record. <laughs> you're completely correct. Uh, the Darling family... They were not the founder of the, the city, but they were here early. One of the first. And... Um, all I can say is that they are... Like, looks around and notices that there are no humans in the group. They are very human. And from, oh, from their classic. world, they are... They used a special kind of magic. That from their world they call capitalism. And it is um, a dark kind of strain of necromantic powers that is they got into power early and it is been hell to try to take them out I do not believe we even can but we can at least try to fight back against them well if I can do one thing is fighting against dark re necromantic powers so that's good oh. and she'll look at Tomas and say I'm very good at what I do it's right um uh, she is very good. Um, oh, sorry again. Wasn't. Spy. I forget what? you've been watching us for a very long time. Well, that uh, not, was weird not, at first, not, but now I'm flattered. <laughs> not everything. Again, it's it's not. Um, I wasn't dropping no eaves. I, I was, but <laughs> I, I'm not. Um, I, it wasn't spying as much as it was just like. It was. Don't worry. I won't turn you any into anything unnatural. Right. Thank you. Um, it's around this time um, that you use Zara outside. Hear like a whistle as, as you're kind of climbing down the building. And you've been in this city for a couple of days now. You know that whistle is the centaur glory hoof calling you. Um probably waiting out in a dark alley somewhere um <clears throat> i was gonna head to the prison mm. to try to help get Golzog. um gonna remember you so good <sighs> um okay can I, like, kind of peek out and roll an inside check on Glory Hoof, like, what he's there for? Is he just trying to check in, or is uh, he... Yeah, first, uh, first make a perception check for me. Okay. Oh, that's not good. 13? 13. Um, you are... You're, like, staring down a dark alleyway, and... You you heard you heard Glory Hoof, and you know Glory Hoof's in this alley, but you can't see him at all. Like deep in the shadows. Um where are you peeking out from, by the way? Because I'm still in the Tinkerer's room, right? Well, like you, the... had, you had left the Tinkerer's room. You would you had absconded with the item 
Oh, I'm um, I'm probably heading towards the jail. I um, mean, I'll say this: like this is happening pretty soon after you did all that. Um, here, so you wouldn't be too far, okay, from where you were, um, because we we're picking up like right after all this stuff happened, um. So you're like trying to head towards the jail. Yeah. Okay. Um. Make another perception check for me. Uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You see now, um, Pavel was like sneaking up on you in a cloud of darkness. Um, but kind of sees that you see him. He goes, "Oh, all right." I guess I won't get the drop on you this time. Wait, this is Pavel or Glory Hoof? This is Glory Hoof. Oh. Yeah. You won't. Where are you going, Needy? Um. Why do you care? Can I roll an insight? Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know why he like... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh 24. 24. Glory hoof over the past few days. Um you've noticed very quickly that you've noticed very quickly that uh Pavel believes that you're Edie. Glory hoof has clearly been poking and prodding you a little bit more. Like, asking you questions that you don't always know the answer to, but you've been able to skate by pretty good. Uh, he seems to be on to you. He's not hostile, but he is mm -hmm. just... In the way that he said Evie, it almost seemed like he was taunting. I'm busy. What do you need? You're busy with something that Pavel didn't tell you to be busy with? Because I just got word that we have a job to do. I did not get that word. I'm the one giving it to you, Edie. Oh, well, unfortunately for you, I have something more pressing. A personal matter. All right. Listen, Edie. You have to understand something. If you keep walking off like this, doing your own thing, it might destroy him. Pavel's a very sensitive boy. And I'm very sensitive, so I need time. Hmm. Sensitive, are you, Edie? Yes. I never took you as a sensitive type. It's because I don't like to show people that I'm sensitive. Mm-hmm. Make a deception check. Okay. <gasps> oh, I get to reroll that. <laughs> Is it a one? Yeah. Uh it's a twelve. Twelve. Here's the thing. At least come and listen to what he has to say. Please, Edie? Can I roll an insight? Mm -hmm. Why I roll that? <laughs> okay, you both times though, you do hear in your head, um, just be better at lying. Uh, well, again? And, and you see, again? <laughs> I'm going to have to alter the entire rules of the universe for you, but I'll do it every time. I love you so much. You're my best friend. 23. 23. <laughs> yeah, you just... You can tell Pavel doesn't... Pavel knows you're not. Or suspects you're not, Evie. I mean, not Pavel. Glory Hoof. Sorry. <laughs> Lori Hoof suspects, suspects that you're not Evie. Uh, 
Um, and does he seem like ho hostile about it? Like, like this is this might be a fight, or is this like a? No, he he doesn't seem hostile. He seems like he would. Ne it, from what you see, he, he seems like he's always kind of taking cues from you. Like if you go hostile, he'll go hostile. But so far, you haven't. So he hasn't. Um. How about we meet back here in an hour, and let me go finish my thing, and well, then we'll go do our quest. Make a persuasion check. Oh, man. Uh, 17? All right. Fine. Just don't embarrass us or get us involved with anything. I would never. Alright. Uh, Glory Hoof stomps off. Um, we go back. Now, in inside. Alright. So. Here is my thinking. This compound, the, the, it, is, it is very... It is very difficult to get through. There are many uh, guards there. They hang out in different guises. I was thinking perhaps we could get like a... Potentially a distraction of some kind. Divert their attention away so that if we do have an issue... It is not, um, a total shit show. And that's on us. Well, uh, for those who are not as good at infiltration, um, we, we need... I'm terrible at snaking around, but maybe me and Thomas here can go and uh, distract them maybe like blow something up or make a big sound right uh, blow something up uh, it seems a little bit um, loud and might attract the it might attract the, um, in the the eyes of the actual sky guard uh, oh <clears throat> what what by the uh, entrance to the jail well it is in a very um, simple part of the city there's not much it is um, a few warehouses um, it is closest it's close to the sky docks of the uh, lower spirals um, by all rights it is a nondescript building we just happen to know what it is. Um, there's a few CD bars, um, some fish butcheries. But my my thought is potentially we could do something there. There's also the idea of um, making a fuss of some kind at one of their other hotels. You have to understand that the the Darling family owns most of them. And if there was to be something that happened at any of them, they might send a few extra pieces of muscle. Maybe. Do the other hotels have uh, any uh, restaurants? Uh, yes, there is um, on-site restaurants, yes. Uh, maybe Tomas and I could go uh, sit down at one of these restaurants and complain really loudly and so much so that they have to send some of their muscle. I'm a monarch. You just hear <laughs> Griselda. That's a that's a thing, right? That's that's a thing that's powerful, right? Mm. You see Pablo go. Yes, you are, aren't you? <laughs> yes. 
So you can see a couple of people making a fuss. A couple of people making a fuss that, that may not be something, but a monarch. That could be something. They like a monarch are... wanting a tour. Yes. You might have to reveal yourself to the city a little bit. Which I'll let you decide if you want that, but... A new monarch in town. That would get eyes very much on you. Oh, she could be like, like, like she's trying to compare where she wants to stay. So she wants a tour of all the, all the hotels and then, and she wants every, everyone to be there so she can check out their staff. I don't know, I'm spitballing. No, no, that's, a, that's good. And that's maybe better. And then when she eventually chooses David, she's going to shock everybody and it'll be great publicity for David. Right. Well, we'll think about it. Whatever. If it helps David, then yeah. Of course. What do you think, Ladybug? Oink. Oink, oink. Ladybug thinks it's an interesting idea. Um, and, um, also, um, sorry, Tone, you do have to pick up your frying pan, don't you? Yes, I have to pick up the frying pan and the other, uh, well, hopefully the little thing for Griselda, if she got it done and the, yeah we, we should stop by there first and then and then maybe we could go what's the go to the nearest hotel that's closest to the jail announce ourselves there and he says well technically it's the nicest uh, sorry that's glory of pavel goes <laughs> well technically it is the um it is one of the most popular but the sky rise is probably the most expensive, but it happens to be down in the lower spirals. It is something about trying to entice people. You could go back to the Skyrise, which is where you probably entered the city. Um, but there's a few other places uh, you could look into. Um, again, I'll let that be your plan. Um, I need a, I need a group who's good with infiltration. I have... Um, I have one of the best coming. Uh, my partner, Edie. Can we insight check partner? Yeah, mm -hmm. of course you can. <laughs> it's a low DC. <laughs> 15? Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can even see, like, P Pavel rubs an area of his finger that clearly was for a ring, as he says. <laughs> but there's no ring there. Ooh. Is there a tan line? Like there was He's a tin soldier. He's a tin soldier. <laughs> a rust ring? Hmm. I'll roll for it. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a rust ring. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Okay, sailor. Um. Right. Um, all right. Oh, right, that sounds like like a good idea. Um, I'm not very good at sneaking, am I? I can just continually guidance myself. <laughs> it's 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 all right. We we we'll we'll, we'll figure something out together. Um, it's at this point you hear awkward clopping downstairs. As you just see this dark, um, like jet black uh, centaur with a long flowing hair covering one eye, awkwardly kind of sidestepping down the stairs. Just like, mm -hmm. oh, geez. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, dang it. This sucks. Hey. <laughs> uh, um, hello, all. It is good to see you again. Don't you remember me? I'm Gloryhoof. 
Oh, yeah, hello. Great, yes. Quick question, mm -hmm. if, who's more handsome, Tomas or Glory Hoof? Ooh. I'll roll off for it. Okay, that, was, out. that was Glory Hoof. So, mm. here, here is how, here's what it is. Mm. Glory Hoof, here, here, everyone can all, without even an insight check, you just can tell. Mm -hmm. Tomas is very handsome and very acute, but also, you're picking up on it, clearly a virgin and unexperienced mm. in this world. Glory Hoof fucks. Oh boy. And that is Fuck. obvious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is obvious to everyone who walks in. Um, that like, was like, you might have chlamydia, but do you care? Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Jack Sparrow with his syphilis there. Glor yeah. Like, so what happened was I rolled a uh, 19 Jack for Sparrow has syphilis? and 11 for... <laughs> yeah, he had a little, like, syphilis mark That's on his fair. chin. That's fair. Oh! Mm-hmm. Don't put that on Glory Hoof. Did he have that? I'm gonna Google while I wait for. <laughs> I'm not my rolling part. for that. Well, well, that's right. a, that's an investigation check later for you all to do if you happen yeah. to get. Glory if he Hoof has an a STD, <laughs> yeah, in we're a gonna be in, we're gonna be in Big Rise for several months. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll have time. We'll have our shot. Um. Uh, it's at this point that gang, we're gonna go to break a little bit early. Um, as Glory Hoof just goes, I don't think Edie's coming. Pavel collapses for a second. Just like, oh, Pavel. All right. um, we're going to go to break a little bit early uh, because John has to uh, go. And I wanted to make sure that John had um, ample time to get the story out of why you're leaving. Thank you, John, so much for joining us. Sorry about we're going to no, there's no sorry at all. We're going to pick back up here in about five minutes. You know, let, let it be. It might be five to eight because I have to do some tech stuff on that back end. We're doing a break early, but we'll be right back. And we'll see what the hell's going on with Gulzog, and we'll continue the plan, and also what the hell's happening with Zara. Um, so, thank you so much, gang. Marty's I know it's face. early, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you in a second. Hannah, you were right. What the fuck?
boxes at all. No, they're not. They're wrong. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Let me just quickly fix. Uh, let me just quickly fix Jasmine's uh, camera for a moment. That's what I was trying to do. Screen, but sometimes it's difficult. Okay, welcome back. We're we're. Good. It looks like okay. Tone's dead. Yep, <laughs> he's gone. Um, welcome back, everyone. Um, we now move on over to basically, in, at this point, um, Tomas, um, Tone, and Griselda make their way out of the restaurant. Um, make their way out, and they're going to have their own planning moment. Um, they've been told, essentially, um, they've been giving a little sending stone um, by Pavel, and it's like, he'll give the signal of, like, when to start going. Um, when to, like, make the distraction happen, whatever they decide that distraction will be. That's for next time we play, that they're just gonna have to figure that out. Um, Pavel and Glory Hoof, now you're just with them, uh, Marabella, and they're like, oh, All right, what to do with you? Uh, as we move on over to inside of the cell. Um, I, can, I yeah. can dig a hole! I can dig a hole that goes underground, because I'm really good at digging. Pavel and we goes, can go underneath the wall. Pavel just goes, Oh, shit. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> That's, that's, he's like, that's exact, I was going to give you a whole thing about how the, 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 the guards on the up, up top are very difficult to, to go around and it's very hard to sneak in any way, but it's not connected to any kind of known sewer system within Fable Rise, so, but tunneling would be, oh, oh my god. <laughs> right? And then he does look to Gloria and says, see, the weaver was right. Uh, and now we will move on over to... What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> ...to the inside of the cell. Um, Gulzog, mm -hmm. you've been in there for a few more hours with uh, with your, your your good friend, Sir Talavar. Um, oh my god. How many days do you think we've been in here? Oh, big one. I believe we've been in here for at least a hundred years. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think I'd look, I'd, I'd be a lot older. Probably at least a week, though. We gotta really? figure out how to get out. Because you look awful. I told you I traded the color of my hair for secrets. Uh, right. I was talking about the hair, too. That's what looks bad. Okay. Goldog, uh politely ignores that. Uh -huh. And, um... Goes up, there's a little slot in my door, right? Yes. Goes up to check the slot in the door again. Okay, yeah, make a perception check or an investigation check with disadvantage. Hang on. Perception it is. Uh, wait, so that's... Five. A five. With the perception, you, you, you open the slot, and it's, it's, there used to be kind of, like, lights on, like, lamps and lanterns, and those have basically been snuffed out, and so it's much harder to see what's going on. Um, even with you, I believe you have dark vision, but even then, it's, like, it's just harder to see every kind of detail on what's happening. Um, you don't really see much. And you, you've, you've been looking out, um, give me, I'll say, give me a, um... Sure. Give me a another perception check with advantage. Uh, KJ, yes. Sir Talavar does have a silly little mustache. 17. 17. And I will say, the only thing that's different about Sir Talavar is that now there's a little goatee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, is it like actual hair or is it like dragon whisker? mustache it's like dragon whisker mustache mustache and dragon whisker goatee cool. yes but it is yeah exactly very fun exactly kj prison has changed sir talavar um in many ways um what did you get for your checks buddy uh 17 17 i'll say this you have been looking periodically though through the slot mm -hmm. when the lights were still on 
and you're getting a sense of okay um smirk and sullivan the two uh Aarakocras who caught you mm -hmm. uh, they have at a certain point stopped checking in on you and the guard that you see um you were able to get the name um of Kara maria nice hang on i'm taking notes mm -hmm. Kara maria and with a 17, you're able to tell. You haven't, like, talked with this guard. Is this um, also an Aarakocra? No. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm about okay. to say. Is that the, the, the thing that you've been able to notice um, is that Kara Maria seems to be some kind of very, just very pale woman. Tall, buff, but just very pale. Um, make a history check for me. Great. I'm going to go digital this time. Let's see if it works. Twelve. Twelve. With with where you're from, um, what you've seen, you can tell... She's humanoid. She looks kind of like a human. But you're, you're able to at least understand that she's not a human. She's something else. But you, I don't think, have encountered one before in your limited times time in the um in the broken spine canyon have i spoken to her no okay uh have, you probably so, tried but she has not responded in the cell so the mm -hmm. lights have gone out in the hallway mm -hmm. is the light still on in the cell do i have control over the light in the cell like the, the, there is a a light still on in the cell um from like an ever burning lantern hanging kind of like a chandelier it's still it's low light but it's still there got it uh and oh can i fly up to it is the cell low enough that i don't have to fly to the chandelier like I, I, so um you go to fly up mm -hmm. and it seems that your boots aren't working oh Make an insight check or arcana check. Um, 14. 14. You start to think, all right, when, when we captured people, if we didn't kill them, we would at least take their stuff off of them. They didn't yeah. do that with you. And... In this area, you can just kind of get the vibe that your magic, anything that's magic, isn't working. Hey, Sir Talavar, I'm just going to confirm with him. You have really powerful magic, right? I, <laughs> why, yes. And you've tried getting out of here, right? This is an anti-magic... Like, room? Yes. Because because obviously that's what would have happened. Because if I did have th the magic to get out of here, which I do very much so, I would have done it right away. But I didn't because there's anti-magic about. Uh, can I privately roll an insight check to see if he is full of shit and doesn't know any magic? Yeah. Nat 20. <laughs> Nat 20. Sir Talavar knows magic. He has some magic. Okay. He clearly doesn't have any kind of teleport magic, like, to just get out of here. Um, but also, your suspicions are true. When you look at Sir Talavar and you hear him say that, Sir Talavar doesn't know anything about anything about what's going on right now. And the magic that he probably knows is really rudimentary. Nice. Um, you are very, fairly certain that there's no way he would have been able to get out of here on his own. Got it. Um, okay. Okay. And, 
I, I know you've been here longer than me. Um, and it's it just to reiterate from last time, it is padded floor, padded walls. Yeah. No beds, no shitholes. No, it, yeah, it, there's no beds, um, no shitholes. Which you haven't really investigated yet, but it's it's all mattresses just everywhere. Uh, Sir Sir Talavar. Yes. I've uh. I've yet to feel a call of nature while we're in here, but um. Where do you go? Where do you go to experience the call of nature? I, it's a, a phrase where I'm from. Uh, if, if you need to uh, produce leavings, if you got to take a shit, where do you what do you use? Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't there, do me? that. So. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because I, Sir Telefar, I do not produce bowel movements. <laughs> or urinary movement. Uh, Golzog is going to go up to the, <laughs> the slot and go, excuse me, guard. Uh, make a persuasion check. Fourteen. Yes. Uh, I'm just curious about what the privy situation is in this place. I'm not trying to make trouble. Just need to know where one goes if oh, they yeah. have to make. Is there not a bucket in there? Golzok looks around for the bucket. There's no bucket. Uh, there is not a bucket. You just hear like some shuffling of papers. What, uh, what has the guard approached the slot while she's talking to me? Gotten closer, for sure. Is she wearing anything that looks like a I get to do magic bracelet or a, like what weapons does she have? Anything distinctive about her setup that um, I can glean while I look at her? Lo yeah, make a perception check. No, no! Oh, I fucking hate... Okay. <laughs> it did that thing where it really slowly tipped from 16 over to 3 and gave me... I have a 6 overall Six for that. Yeah. You, 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 you know, magic for you is still kind of Don't foreign imagine. and new, and especially having magic items. Um, You look... Give her a once over, and you're you're only able to see so much, and she's kind of keeping to the shadows. You're not um, able to really know of any kind of clothing or anything that is keeping or her even just basic magic. weapons. Um, basic weapons, you do see a giant broadsword on her back. Cool, like sheathed on her back, huge broadsword. Yeah. Ah. Uh. And so she's looking through papers. Yeah, and she just... Oh, all right. Well. Yeah, you were put in the, uh... You were put in a no-shit room because of the fact that... The dragon doesn't shit. So. We saved on a bucket. I could bring you a bucket, if that's fine. Or if, if, or if you don't want that, uh, I could take you to, um... I could take you to the loo, but uh, if you try anything, I will kill you. Um, like like you walk me to the loo and walk me back to the cell. Yeah. Uh, that'll work for this time. I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to be here. I'm, I'm, I know I'm supposed to talk to the boss at some point. Yeah, everyone wants to talk to the boss. Um. All right. Give me one second. You hear like some keys jangling, um, feet going off. Can I keep an eye out for which key she uses for the cell? 
Um, I mean, with your perception check that you've had already, it's yeah. difficult um, to sure. to get that information. Um, it's mm-hmm. still kind of going from there. Um, but she soon comes in and like through the through the slot um, throws you some manacles. Like just some like uh, the handcuffs, throws you some manacles. Yeah, yeah. Just goes, put those on yourself. Sure. Uh, Dolzog puts them on. Okay. Door opens. Come on. Okay. Slams uh, the door shut back uh, behind. We'll wait for you to catch up, Marty. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> we'll wait for him to time travel, gang. Um, Great. Like, down the hallway? Oh, what? Okay, yeah. So, you're back. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, uh, sorry about that, everybody. My Wi-Fi is what my Wi-Fi is. Can I um try to count how many cells, like, mm-hmm. down the hall I am? Yeah, make a perception check for me. Come on. Nine? Nine. Um, yeah, you're able to see that there is a... a you're walking past. Um, you are... In this little area that you're in. Um, yep. You happen to be, like, in this hallway... There are only two cells, it seems. There's one on one end. Like, in this little hallway, there's one on the right side, one on the left side. Um, then, facing south of you... Yeah. Um, ...is a door. You don't go that way. You go north. And then when you go north, you see a uh, longer hallway. Um, Got it. That kind one of extends... Left. Like, when, when you... So, basically... I'm not showing you the map because the map, like, I have it, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. Um, for reasons, you know. Um, yeah. One, two. But uh, you kind of count down and you see this hallway. So when you go up north, there's a hallway that extends, like, east and west. And mm-hmm. down the um, west side of it, you see a – that is more where, like, you can tell it's a longer hallway and there are – um, cells going down. The down. west side is longer? Yeah, the west side is longer. Um, you are taken you are taken east um, up like a flight of stairs. And again, stop me if any at any point. Thank you. Um, you are taken up a flight of stairs um, where you're kind of back in that general warehouse almost feel of this place. Um, you were clearly being kept underground, um, at least under, like, on a second floor. Um, or like a second sub-level? Yeah, like a second sub-level. Yeah. And then you go up these stairs and there is essentially, like, in you know, a, this place is nicer architecture and there is, like, an actual nice almost nice bathroom for you to go to. Uh, yes. Um, so I made the right choice, just if we're talking about bathroom preference-wise. Um, yes. Um, you can make an investigation check for me. Thank you. God damn it, dude. Mm, seven. Seven. Okay, I'm yeah. rolling shit. You you haven't really been in this kind of situation before, and you're trying to, you know, remember back to, like, what did your dad say about being captured? But it was never... Uh, he never I, he usually said, don't be captured. Yeah. and so Die in been, battle. You've been captured, and now you don't have any, like, training, really, of what to do here. Um, yep. And okay. you're kind of, like, shoved into the bathroom quickly and not fully able to glean anything that's around you. Um, or at, cool. 
So I don't see anything once we're through the door at the top of the stairs to the bathroom. I kind of miss whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, what's in the bathroom? I assume I'm in there by myself. Yeah, you are. The, the bathroom is basically a, an enclosed space. Um, mm -hmm. No windows or anything like that. It's, it's, it's like an elevated, you know, outhouse of the day. Um, but it does seem to have, um, so like a good bathroom. It's for, it's a, for what for it is. It's it's fantasy, indoors and, stuff, and yeah. it has clearly um. Uh, make a make an arcana check for me. Ten. Ten. There's like hit um, double digits, guys. There's like a a lever next to the toilet, like to, yep. to like the outhouse, which is like not like a toilet. It's just like an outhouse, but there's a lever to it that you can see when operated um you can tell does something to the waste that you yeah. have produced you're not sure what but you know it's magic. okay cool is there a mirror there is no mirror okay is there like soap oh yeah there's soap is there anything else but then like a sink i assume or so some sort of there's like a water basin yeah. whole thing yeah mm -hmm. um but other than that, and, and like, I assume, like, toilet paper, nothing. Yeah. Right? Okay, cool. And I, it doesn't matter. I have all my shit in the cell anyway. Like, I have full weapons. So yeah, you have full weapons. Mm -hmm. Golzog is going to use the toilet okay. and and pull the lever and see what happens. Um, You'd go about your business. Mm -hmm. You use the lever. Um... And it seems to be, like, out of nowhere, um, a torrent of water inside of this thing starts flowing downward, like, appearing out of nowhere, and then all just of a sudden blows it just Zog's mind. disappears. Um, you do know the spell Create uh, Water, and it's clear that that is, like, part of the enchantment that's on these things. Um, mm hmm this is uh, um, this is something that I will say that you would have encountered a little bit of this in the yeah. nicer toilets in like the rest of the city, but you just kind of haven't seen it plain as day mm -hmm. before. And so, yeah, you're seeing like a create water spell happening and then the waste goes away somewhere. Golzok is going to, in here, mm -hmm. before he comes out, try to cast uh, Mage Hand. Um. Yeah, in here. Yeah, in the in this bathroom. You do find yourself casting mage hand. Great, and that can be invisible, right? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Um. Well, yours, I believe. Yeah. Can yours be uh, invisible or? Yeah. So a spectral floating hand appears at the point you choose. The hand lasts for the duration or until you dismiss it as an action. You can use your action to control the hand, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can cast this cantrip without verbal or somatic components. You can make the spectral hand invisible. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's invisible. Cool. So I'm going to keep it nearby. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to step out of the bathroom having cl after cleaning up yep. and walk back to the cell. I'm still trying to see everything, but like subtly. Um. All right. Come on. Starts taking you back down. Um. Say this, Marty. Once you get um into the hallway mm -hmm. of the downstairs area, uh -huh. you can feel. Whoosh, it dispels. Cool. It dispels. Um, that's great to know. Uh, Golzog's gonna try to remember. Oh, you, you got where. That. Yeah, cool. You got that. And then also, uh, Golzog is going to try to make some conversation. Be like, um... Because this is the, the big pale lady, right? Mm -hmm. Uh... So, uh... Where are you from? Make a persuasion check. Ten. We don't have to get to know each other. 
<laughs> that's fair. I uh, I have a hard time uh, getting to know people myself. I'm from uh, the Broken Spine Canyon, and you know the it's a, it's a culture that isn't really based around talking. So I'm sort of a stranger to it myself. Uh, you don't th- that to is a, to say, you don't, you don't seem to be a stranger to it. I, I'm just saying I'm I'm not from around here. Uh, and I was wondering if you weren't either. Do I look like a fucking fay? I, I mean, no disrespect here. I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I actually, I don't know, uh, quite what a fay looks like. I'm, I'm new around here, and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I've seen, uh, your type of person a ton in my, in my life. Uh, but you're, you're right. We don't need to get to know each other. And Golzog quiets down. All you need to know is that when you said the Broken Spine Canyon, I know what that is. So if that helps you understand that I might be from the same place as you, generally, then that's what it is. Are we talking like the same uh, continent? That's or, what uh, it is. Okay. Golzog uh, remains quiet. It, can I get anything perception-wise that I missed on the way back? Uh, make, or, a, make a perception check or an investigation check, whichever one you want. Sure. 17. 17. Um, <clears throat> you start to hear like noises from... As you're going by this time, you hear shouts and noises from the cells. Um, no one, like, obviously, there's not any, like, noises that you under, uh, that you recognize or voices you recognize. Yeah. But you are you know now that you're not alone and that there are people who are being kept in here. Yep. Other than you. Um, you also are able to know that right before the door, you can hear other guards. Um, and you see right before the door like, back right, to I mean, our I mean, small sorry, sorry, hallway. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Right before, like right as you get down the stairs and the mage hand goes, mm-hmm. there is a door um, to your right. And you kind of see one of the guards like walk out of it. And it's clearly like a rec room or some kind mm-hmm. of like guard station room where some of them are put. Um, so there is like a room that has like full of guards whether it be like a barracks for them of some kind but there is a larger room on this bottom level that houses a lot of guards can i take note of like the doorknob or handle and see like make an investigation check yeah nine nine um it's clearly a, a door that can be locked sure and is um, yeah. But you're not able to get too much other than that. I'm sorry, Marty. No, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm rolling like shit. Mm-hmm. And then um, just when we get back to our hallway, can you tell me which hallway, which door is our cell? And if I hear anything from the other door. Um, yeah. Um, so with that 17 still running, you do know that your door... Um, is, I guess, like, yeah, your door is on the west side. Cool. Um, and you do hear, you do hear some, like, loud, um, scraping of metal, it seems. Cool. Like you just hear this like metal and then a long <laughs> just some scraping. Just um, from like inside. Inside. You don't you don't happen to there's no like reaction from uh Cara Maria. Mm-hmm. Uh and Golzog is just gonna ask one more thing of Cara Maria, like so, um, I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to wait before seeing the boss, but, uh, is there, like, a, a meal time? Uh, 
Yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, great. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and then I'm ready to take the cuffs off and go back inside the cell. Yeah. Um, she takes the cuffs off mm -hmm. and begins to put you back in the cell. Uh, and, like, again, uh, if you're letting this happen, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm... As so far, going back to the cell, yes, I'm letting okay. that happen. Um, and you are now back, and you hear All right. her stalk off. And like, make I'm gonna make sure she's like back at her post, and uh, then make and she a, is. Make a, I guess, make a perception check again, just to like make sure she's gone for sure. Sure. Great. Now I get it. Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Golzog's gonna take his painter supplies out mm -hmm. and. On the there's no like do I, do I have paper on me? I guess I do. Um. Well, you could have if you wanted. We can say that you snuck some like toilet paper back with you. Sure. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Give me. A, give that, me a, that's, guess... that doesn't count as calligrapher supplies or painter supplies, right? Like. I that, mean, that's not part of that. No, probably not. But if that, you... no worries. Uh, we. I'm. I'm happy to either say we've snuck toilet paper or draw straight on the walls. Either one. Uh. Right, let's go walls. Let's go walls. Great. So Goldzog's yeah. going to pick a wall by the door so that if someone looks in through the slot, they're not seeing the wall and draw out everything he saw on the walk to the loo uh, and mark off where Mage Hand got dispelled, all his shit, uh, like all his stuff um, and everything he remembers and mark off the break room. And yeah, like as much as he can remember everything's going there. So Talavar just looks at you. It's a very bad painting. Uh, the purpose of this painting isn't an artistic one, Sir Talavar. It's, it's so Clearly. that we can try to map out the prison. I, uh, I was walked to the restroom. Uh, one of the perks of being someone who has bowel movements and I, uh, I made, sh I paid attention the whole way. Uh, there's metal scraping, uh, in the cell across from us. Have you, did, have you been here long enough to see who's been put in that cell? Um, oh, or yes. Or even just... Um, a, fa a fabulous looking man with curly black hair. Long, wavy. Man meaning human or man meaning male being of a different species? I think human. I think human, yes. Okay. I believe so. Uh, uh, hang on. What was he? Pale? Yes. Pale like the guard outside? No. Okay. May yeah, it might be a human. Uh, Golzog marks that off in for the uh, cell opposite them, like human question mark. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, uh, Oh, and, and then he's going to ask Sir Talvar, um, hey, so do you know uh, when Chow is? Um, probably in another 50 years. Uh, what was that? And we will move on um, <laughs> from that. Uh, let's go quickly back to uh, Marabella before we go to Zara. Marabella, uh, you... Can we just have like a dig it uh uh, -uh like holes <laughs> montage outside of the... Well, yeah, he, he, he'll just go like, okay, um, all right. So you have a, not even, you're not as good at digging. You have a super, you have a powerful ability, magical ability to dig. Right. I could do it here. Are we still in the restaurant? Yes. I could dig a hole here if you like. <laughs> but Pavel, oh, no, about probably to go like, no, and right. Glory Hoof goes, no, I want to see that. <laughs> Um, yeah, is it a dirt floor? Uh, it's, it's not, but you, th there's nothing in a burrow speed that talks about that you need a dirt floor. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, Tomas, can I? Oh, Tomas is gone. Tomas, your... Tomas went with, uh, his brother and, and Griselda, sadly. Great. Okay, I'll just <laughs> dig a little five foot hole down. <laughs> Glory of Jules. Oh, oh my God. Can I get back up? 
covered. Oh wait, no, I'm completely clean. They're all covered in yeah, dirt. Yeah, they're just like, oh my god, that was absolutely incredible. You it, really? It, Thanks. It, 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 it is like you. Uh, uh, all right, we we need to figure something out then because. If we are able to tunnel in, then we can very much uh, get around the idea that, that anyone will know that we have anything to do with this. Um, Glory Hoof, though, I will say it, it, it probably means that you are not going to be involved in this part of it. It's fine. I like being an idea person. I don't need to go in. I'll be there for extraction if you need. All right. Um, Marabella thinks... That guy fucks. <laughs> yes, you do. And <laughs> and guess what? Maribel's right. Maribel's very right. <laughs> I don't need an inside check no, to no, know that Glory who fucks. All right. Um so but but you're yeah, but but Edie is not Edie's not coming cuz I and he just looks at Glory so so Edie's not coming because she uh, I mean, it would be pretty perfect. I mean, this this hole is, you know, uh, that would be very, make it very easy. Um, Edie said she had a, a, a personal thing to take care of. And with everything going on with her, I didn't want to pry. <sighs> yeah, yes, of course. Um, right. Did I meet Edie? Um, you sure didn't. Okay, Edie, she Edie, wasn't. Edie, at Edie wasn't with them at the mo at that time. Got it. Um, Edie was got probably it, doing it. stuff with the Lollipop Guild cult. Um, mm. um, but you wouldn't know that. You just don't know. Um, okay, gotcha. She sounds very mysterious. She's. The greatest mystery that I've ever encountered. Professionally? What? Nothing. Ah. Uh. Prof I. Anyway, um. So where should we dig our hole? That's a very good question, um. Because. Uh, we need to figure out a place where we can go in and then come back out that has no connection to us in any way. We don't, because they may be able to find this hole. And if they follow it, we don't want it to be back at one of our uh, safe houses. We want it to be somewhere nondescript, uh, somewhere that they would, if anything, take suspicion off of us. Um, what about one of the warehouses around the, the jail? Is there one that's like, um, uh, empty? Like an abandoned warehouse type of deal that we could start in, or? There are Is that not really? Those. There are. Uh, yes. We should, um, we should start making our way there. That's a very good idea. The problem is, is that the... Uh, Skulking around the area looking for abandoned warehouses might um, cause us to get um, noticed. So if there's any way of us to be a little bit stealthy or a little bit uh, more hidden, that would help us. Right, yeah, what, what ideas do you have? Because I don't have anything. Right, so your your main idea was digging a hole, which you're very good right, at. Right, digging. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Um... <clears throat> Well, yeah, I've got absolutely no, <laughs> not in help with. Um, well, it's it's and it's, it's all right. I did use some spell slots landscaping earlier today, all which right. is fine. Um, here's the. How about this? We go, and um. Do you think that anyone knows your face exactly? My face? Mm hmm Uh, there were two people from, um, from the Darlings that we talked to earlier today. 
a um, oh, couple of shortish gnomish looking fellas, right? Oh, yes. Did you... Forgive me. I saw the bloodbath that you all left behind. Did you kill them? Oh, I think we did. All right, so no one has seen your face. That's problem solved. Are you are you okay? Are you okay with the the killing part? You I mean, yes, going happened. We're we're moving we're moving on from that. All right. Not really planning on killing anybody here. Just going to happen. But that's what I, you know, self defense. They attack us. And there you go. Yes. Um. Right. We've all done it. <laughs> <laughs> Glory Huff just goes. You goddamn right. I sure have. Pavel just goes, all right, um, let us, let us go. Um, Gloryhoof, you, um, fall back, find a way to get this out of there if, if we, if need be. All right. I do, even though I'm very good at hiding in the shadows that I make myself, I'm kind of, um, obvious. People take notice of Gloryhoof. Do you have anything that you could uh, try to help us be more sneaky with? Like a spell or fancy shoes, a cloak, or I don't know. Ah, oh, maybe. Sure. Yeah. I can share. Oh. Um, but I do, I am curious. As he kind of goes into um, a little satchel on his side, and he takes out this, um, what looks like a brittle uh, horseshoe. But I am curious. I know we're friends and all now, but before I hand this over to you, what are your intentions here in this city? Obviously, we we're going to help, help our friend, friend David. Well, yes, get Gullzog out of there. We want to, um, we met a centaur named, no, a minotaur, excuse me. Uh, we met a minotaur named David who owns a motel, like an air, not an Airbnb, <laughs> a regular b, &B. Uh, Right. And we want to, oh. Is my mom's body here? No. Um, so you know your your mom's body from all you know is still at home. Her heart might have been taken. Um but and you have it. So you Right. You don't your mom's body isn't here. Again, it's just the fact that what you know about the two is that the two just happens to know your mom's face and body. Yeah. And, and the two and, is here. And the two, from what you've been told, the two is here and the two uses your mom as a disguise occasionally. Yeah, um, fuck that guy. Um, can I try to, I don't know, is, would that be an insight check to see if any one of these guys is the two? It's kind you of can very... always do an insight or an arcana check to see if the, may, I think it's the insight is better for this um yep it's better for me too so ow 15 15 you do kind of give a discerning look to them um kind of thinking about like right okay right the two could be anyone you feel fairly confident that it's not them you're you're not getting any kind of animosity off of them and the, and the two really held a lot of animosity yeah like a, there was there was like a dark and they're an assassin not an actor so and so you you are kind of like looking at them though for a moment um what are you looking at what do you know about the two Pavel takes a moment. We... We know that you've been taking care of cards. And so have we down there. We know of the two. 
The tool is the greatest threat to our cause. Well, the tool is one of the greatest threats to any cause, really. See, we... We want there to be... We don't want there to be war. But we do want to... Follow a path. It's only fair that you understand who you're getting into bed with while helping your friend. We are the Weavers. It's very nice to... Formally meet. We believe... That the only way to leave this place, for everyone, is that we have to acknowledge it's happening. People in this city, they don't even acknowledge that there is a war happening beneath their feet. Either because they do not remember, or do not want to know, or don't care about the outcome. The outcome for us is still hazy as well, but we know that we have to at least participate. It is the only way out. We cannot just stand neutral this entire time. The two, however, the two is chaos. The two will try to drag us into a war against our will. Put us on a side that we maybe should not be on. The two is out of, for destruction. I have had one encounter with the two. And let me tell you. They truly are sadistic. And able to disguise themselves as any possible person. They disguise themselves. They disguise themselves as one of the leaders of this city last time I saw them. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we were right. able we were able to <clears throat> figure out what was going on. Saw them in two places at once, finally figured them out. But they almost brought it to ruins. Was almost able to order an was almost able to send every piece of weaponry that we even had and people had stashed down there. We were able to stop it, but I'm sure the two has rooted them their way back in. Why do you ask? Well, I'm... Well, you want to know my intention. I'm gonna fucking kill the two. That's my goal. Can I roll an insight check to see how they would feel? Because they're like, Fable Rise is above it. They don't believe there's a war. Mm -hmm. How would they feel about Fable Rise being bombed? Like, how would they feel about the fact oh, yeah. that there's a bomb in Fable Rise? Make an insight check. 15. Can I roll? Oh, no. Huh? That's a botch. That's a botch? I told you it was a 7. It's a 1. <laughs> it's a botch. You, you are trying to figure it out. You... There's, you know, everywhere you go in the Feywild, there's different factions wanting different things of different kinds. It's a world that's been churning without you. All you can tell because of just how they've talked is that they don't like the two. And the two is trying to bomb this place. Yeah. Yeah. They're, okay. They're, they, I don't, I think you can at least tell even with a one. You don't know what's going, you can't really hear from them, but even with a one, you would at least know. They probably don't like anything he does. Yeah. That they do. Yeah. Okay. That tracks. Um. And also, I'm pretty sure the two is planning to bomb Fable Rise at the start of the festival in a week. That's why we came here, was to try to warn him. Uh, and the truth is, is that, yes, I believe you. But getting through to the council is almost impossible. Because they'd like it to be different. They don't like conflict. 
even though it brews beneath them all the time. Glory Hoof then goes, I did want to talk about that. Now that we're bringing up the two and people being disguised as other people. Pavel. I do worry. About what? Edie has been acting different since she got back. Well, yes, but uh, she was... She has... She needs her space. She was traumatized by something. She... 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 Asked for her space. Right? I don't know, Pavel. And I'm not saying... That the two would be sloppy, but... There just seems to be something off with her. And now that we're talking about people who came to the city under mysterious circumstances, she hasn't really explained how. I'm just saying, it would be foolish of us to not think that she might be... Don't even... Do you think she might be the two? I'm just saying, it would be foolish of us to not think... To not suspect anyone. And he is... And she does seem to be acting on her own a lot. Can I roll an insight check at on her own a lot? Sure, roll an insight check. Eleven. Eleven. I, I mean, you're not sure because you've never met e Edie. Yeah. Um, and so you're don't you. Yeah. You're like you're trying to figure see, here like okay on her own. I think for you you're just like oh shit they might have a lead, on the two. Yeah. They might mm. have a lead on the two. Do you guys have like a code word or something? I mean, we have a few. What do you need one for? Well, like, well, like, um, um, to to test if someone's like who they say they are or something, like, uh, just pulling from not a show I saw once, but Monkey Slut, for example, or like, um, something you know, a very specific word that you don't typically use in conversation that you could like, or like call and response, like, how do the berries taste? Right. And then, and then you'd say sour like me. Glory of do we do that? No. Why didn't we not do that? I think we might be stupid, Pavel. <laughs> well well we can make one now. With the with the three of us it's it's small, but Alright. <clears throat> what should the phrase be then? Um, uh, well, well, we could make it a, oh, this is hard. I want to just do the, how do the berries taste sour like my grandma? Well, fuck it. How about how do the berries taste? You ask, how do the berries taste? And then they respond, sour like me grandmother's. It's random. It'll never come up in regular conversation. And... Fun. How do the berries taste? Sour, like my grandmother's. This she winks the... it. Glory up. <laughs> you sure you've never been? See, this is why we need mortal minds. Minds that work very differently than ours. We trust too much on instinct, Glory Hoof. It's true. Our magic is very powerful, but also dulls our senses a bit. All right. Well then, if it is you, your duty to kill the two and to save this city from itself, that might be exactly the destiny that was foretold for you. And I will be there. Oh yeah, you mentioned you mentioned like a like a weaver said I was cool or something like that. 
Yes. Before the... we we broke to Gulzog storyline. <laughs> the um, Weaver. The Weaver is our a leader. No, powerful. They would hate if you heard if they if they heard you say that. Right. Not n not our leader, they, they, but they are our teacher. I'll allow it, Pavel. They are an oracle of sorts. They are able to see the threads of fate. Read them. They do not advertise their wares. Because they know that if they did, the council would Not like it. They are six people who like to believe that they have conquered fate. You will meet them if the, you gain trust with us. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. <clears throat> Weaving's a, a cool hob hobby. Yes, they are All very... I did was bury dead people. I don't know. <laughs> it's no, it's fine. They are very they're eccentric and they um can also be rather annoying to talk to. But uh... not as annoying as someone I know. I'm just thinking of a really annoying person. Are you, Sorry. Are you think or was it about me? No, I don't know you well enough, and I don't think you're annoying. Oh, right. No. Oh, right. You ever met a tiny dragon with a mustache? Ugh. You'd know. Oh, you mean Sir Talavar? You know Sir Talavar? Um, of course. We both served in the summer court together. Wow. Did we know this? That Sir Talavar was like with... No, we did not. Well, well, Holy you, shit. You knew that Sir Talavar worked in the summer court, but not this. Not this. Did you not find him an annoying little prick? Oh yeah, he's the worst. Right. Okay. Um. How long? How long? Long ago did you? Because we actually ran into him like a while back. He was trapped in a tiny little cage, and we had to carry him around for fucking days. It was a nightmare. So Talibar found himself in Prismere. Mm-hmm. Um. It's yeah, been, in the um. It's been centuries since I've seen him. It was before any of this. Yeah, we were in... Where Was Prismere the first place we went to? Well, no, well, Hither was the first place you went to. Prismere is, remember, Hither. the entire place that you're in. Um, yeah. Yeah, we found we met him in Hither. And he was saying something about, like, warning the court. Right? He was warning the court. Sorry, this has been, like, a year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, no, he said that he was going to... Um, that his goal was that he was coming here to search for like what the hell's been going on for mm -hmm. the queen of the summer court and was right. supposed to like report back and right. was and now that he knew what was going on he was gonna like Go tell him to summon the all the armies um yeah you tell him this and to meet zabilna is what my notes say yes the the idea was Ooh. that he was going to go meet zabilna and talk to her about what the hell is going on here. And then he mm -hmm. learned that Zabilna was asleep. And all this other shit was going down. And has been for... Right. Forever. Was going to leave. Mm -hmm. Um. See, I relay all of that. Glory Hoof just kind of smirks and goes... Hmm. Alright. Yeah. That makes sense. What an idiot. Yeah. And well, he has a, a way of being so pretentious, even though he's, like, so inept. And you said that the last time you saw him, he w he left? I think so. Fuck, when was the last time we saw him? Like, when did we officially part ways? Was it right after laser tag? Did mm -hmm. he get out? It was right after laser tag, and you did see him leave. Right. Yeah, it was right after we had, like, a laser tag game with the Cheshire Cat... And then he got out. 
you you see uh Pavel fully recoil at the cat at the Cheshire cat's name as um all right i know that we need to go uh, maybe we should walk and talk but it feels like we have a lot more to talk about um and do you also hate the cat i hate the cat too let us let us talk quietly but let us walk on over to the uh, lower district we will find a good place to dig and um, also, I'll relay some information that I know about this place, so that we are not digging in blindly. Come. We will now transition away from this over to Zara. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Prison break. <laughs> this is going. This stream today is going great, <laughs> in every way. <laughs> uh, well, sorry, Hannah, you're kind of off at the. It's okay, moment, but I'm uh, there in I'm, spirit. I'm not going to fix the cameras at the moment. Yeah, there you are. Uh, I'm Gulzog. Why you me again? Here. I'm Gulzog. <laughs> Just until you. I can do this back. for thirty minutes. Marty says he's trying to reconnect. Yeah. Um, Zara took the thing that was in her eye and threw it in Marty's Wi-Fi router, and yes. the stream that's what's goes happened. So normal. Um. Okay. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Zara. You're making your way towards... Again, you don't really know... You know the general direction of the, the prison. You weren't... Like, you don't know the city well. You're not... You've still only been here for a little bit. Um, but you're... You knew, like, the general area of this place. Um, Didn't Pavel kind of say where it was, though? He, he said, said it was, like, uptown or something. He kind of yeah. said where it was, but again, you do yeah. not know this place. Okay. <laughs> um, so... Um, make a survival check for me. Okay. Uh, 22. 22. Okay, you are able to kind of... With your, like, thief skills, you're able to kind of tell which certain people are, um... You're able to tell which people are like are probably with the Darling family, and you're able to slowly make your way over towards um, the the area that you think is this like jail. Um, make a stealth check for me as you're going along, so that you're not like noticed. Okay. Uh, twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, you are a doll. And you are able to pretty easily stay in the shadows, find your way following these people. Um, as you get to this kind of seedier place, you start to notice um, you start to notice that the random people on the street like random people in the alleyways you can tell they're all guards they're not dressed like guards but you can tell that they are all just like hanging out around here all guards um you can count a dozen of them in the alleyway pretending to go about their business as if they're not part of this and you see like what looks like a warehouse can't hear you yet, buddy. Sorry, I'm a little distracted with all this stuff going on. Um, you see no, a warehouse. Of course. Um, and you're able to see... It's like a... A stark white building with like a little bit of a fence around it. And... There's some activity around the building itself, but most of the activity seems to be around other parts of the building. Uh, make an insight check for me. 
Ooh, nine? Nine. Um, it seems to me, you're, you're like, you're a little confused as to why it doesn't seem like there's a lot of guards outside the building itself. But you can tell that most of the guards are stationed at other buildings around this alleyway. But that building looks as though it's more, like, abandoned. Okay. This, this, um, kind of bigger white, not warehouse. It, it seems like it would have been used for something. Um, like, it wasn't built as a warehouse, but it's clearly, like, that's what it is in this district. Um. Can I make a survival check to see if there's any signs of Golzog, like, footprints or people being dragged? Okay. Oh, God. Uh, 11? 11. Yeah, you're not able to, like, track Golzog. You can't really see, because this is, now that you're not, like, in the woods or anything like that, it's it's the city. There's not really tracks as much to follow. Um, But with an 11, you can tell that even though this place looks abandoned, it is well, it is, like the, the paths are well worn. Like people walk in and out of here, clearly. Uh, I'm going to approach the warehouse and like continue to stealth and look for a side entrance or like bars of a jail or yeah. Give me another stealth check now that you're like actively walking onto the property. 12. Oh my God. I rolled a two. The lowest I could roll. Um, okay, 12. Um, it's hard to fully stealth in. Um, give me an insight check as you do this. Or a perception, either one. Um, 26. You do see um, a couple of people on the in the alleyway glance over in your direction as you're stealthing in. Um, you got twenty six. Mm-hmm. One of them looks directly at you for a moment, and then like looks as if they're trying to pretend they didn't see you. Are they wearing one of the officer uniforms, the guard uniforms? They're not, again, they're not wearing uniforms. So they, right, but, but are can, they wearing the clothes that I recognize, you're, that I perceived earlier? They're, they are people that you can probably assume are guards involved. Again, they are, they are, they are all dressed in different kinds of garb. They're not just one uniform. There is no uniform. Um other than like the the hats but like you don't see any hats really of the sleeping caps it seems like they are all laying low undercover but you can definitely tell they are a part of this hi um i'm going to pretend like i was just lost and wander away okay make a deception check uh 19 Okay. Uh, where are you wandering off to? Uh, I'm just going to try to, like, get to the other side of the building. and Like, anywhere that maybe looks a little bit less dense. I just want to be out of the way. Um, okay, make an investigation check for me. Eight. The, this place is frustrating for you. Um... As you're walking around, you're able to kind of tell they picked this place really well. It is like on all sides, pretty well lit. All sides seem kind of barren and normal. Um, And it's kind of enclosed entirely by alleyways. Like there's no, so you're able to see that like, oh, this would be great if it didn't feel like the alleyways were being traversed. Um, So it's hard for you to find an entrance in this place um, other than the front door. Um, And you specifically see that a lot of the windows do happen to have like bars on them. 
but you're able to get to your like around the back a little um and can see I make that, a... yeah what? like sorry can i as i'm passing the barred windows can i make a perception check to see if i hear Golzog's very distinct voice make a perception check thank you um 26 26 you are able to hear like laughter inside um like small chuck uh almost kind of muffled laughter um definitely not Goldzog. Palavar. <laughs> it's nothing you recognize can i look in the can i sneak by and look in the windows i don't think we have a window i think oh you don't have a window okay but well, you can yeah. definitely look in the windows. Yeah, Zara doesn't know that. Um, okay, make a stealth check for me and make a perception check. Stealth is 29. Okay. Perception check is 23. Um, you're, you're looking in and you see... Okay, there are guards inside. Um, you're able to look in and see... It looks like um, on top side it looks like basically a <laughs> like a normal like a warehouse with a lot of mattresses. Um, you see that there's like someone in the corner kind of like crafting a mattress like taking feathers and fully like stuffing them into Mattresses like sewing them up very crudely, but then like someone touches their hands onto it and fabricates it into like a perfect mattress. Um, so it is like a warehouse. It's almost like a uh, a factory. It seems kind of in there as you're looking in. Um, but you also see people just kind of sitting back with like mead on like a bunch of mattresses stacked high. The red caps are on. Um, there's more of like a uniform happening inside of here. Uh, and you see about you got like a 26 or 24 uh, uh 23 you see like four people inside through this door through, through this window all right that's not the window i want to go through uh okay i'm gonna continue along the building see okay. if i can find an empty room to slip into okay um make another stealth check for me again this is all like 16 16 okay uh and make a an investigation check Dirty 20 Dirty 20 you're finally able you're like at this point you're kind of still getting used to yourself in this doll's body but you're kind of almost like spider-man swinging like spider-man swinging a little bit with your like weird um threads um with needle and thread you're kind of like traversing the, the wall hello thank you so much for joining us raiders um this is a kind of a uh tech we've had some tech issues this stream so apologies if we get it into any of that but this is pair of socks lost it's based on Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Um, a doll is trying to plan a prison break. That's what happens. Um, so you're kind of scaling this wall, going from window to window, just trying to find an empty room. Um, you finally do see, um, like, this main area that looks very different from the, the warehouse area. It looks like it's a... Uh, like a reception area. There's there's this place where you see someone behind a desk rifling through papers. You see um, a wall of keys behind them. Um, but that is... There's only one person, but then at a certain point you see them get up and walk away into another room. And it's the first time you've seen a room fully empty. I will slip in. How many keys are there on this wall? Um, well, first things first... The window's okay. locked. There's a lot of things that are about to happen. Okay. The window, there's okay. bars on the doors. You can for sure slip it through them because you're a doll, but the window is yeah. locked. So first things first. Light um, of hand? Yeah. 
14? 14 is a failure. Um, what kind of what kind of window is this? Huh? What kind of window is this? This is like, um, it's the kind where it's like you kind of crank it and then like lift it open. So is it glass? Can... It is. Um, but first things first, uh, make a stealth check with disadvantage. I rolled two twos, so that's a twelve. I'll be honest, gang. You want to know who's rolling the worst tonight? It's me. I'm rolling real bad. I... The only time I rolled above a 10 tonight as any NPC was the most important role of the night, which was, does Glory Hoof fuck? And that was when I rolled above a 10. And... Every time that you have rolled low, like, I'm just letting you know, because this is crazy for me. Every time Zara's rolled low on stealth, I'm like, oh my god, my guards have a chance to see her. And I've rolled a 2, a 2, a 5, a 6, and an 8. And nope, they don't see her, and they should have fucking seen her. Um, but y y you're fine. Um, what are you doing now that you bungled that... Uh, lock picking check, but no one noticed it. How close are the people around me? Who's the closest? How how many feet? The closest people around you? Mm-hmm. Like, um, well, you're on the building. Um, I'm and again, on the building. Well, well, you're at the window of the building. There's, Sorry, there's, I, in my what? head, I'm on the ground, and, like, there's, like, a basement and a bunch of basement windows, so that's, that is, I don't know no, why that was that my head. That is not at all what's happening. That's not what's happening. They are, okay, they great. are windows with bars at ground level, but not at basement level. No. No, no. Okay. I look around, and if there's no one within 30 feet of me, I'm gonna just smash the window. I'm gonna just... Let me see. Oh, yeah, if you're here, um... You a, a teeny tiny doll? Yeah, I'm a teeny tiny doll. I don't actually know how tall I am. Maybe two Is feet? the smashing going to work because you're so small, like one of those emergency hammers that people keep in their cars? I like think I'm you're like a, a teeny... wooden doll, though. Like, I think I'm like pretty I mean, I'm, sturdy. I'm gonna maybe I'm porcelain. Make, I'm going to make... No, like it's a small point of contact. Like, it'll be like a good shatterer is what I mean, I'm yeah. saying. I'll say maybe. Uh, we're going to do this. Okay, so yeah, there, there's, there doesn't seem to be anyone within 30 feet of you. Um, make, uh, with, okay, with dex, you just have to make, you have to make the attack with dex, but with disadvantage, or you can make, um, sorry, you can make a dex check with disadvantage or a strength check. So you can make either an acrobatics with disadvantage or an athletics straight. Oh, I'm going to do acrobatics with disadvantage. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Um, that's not bad. Uh, that is a 16. Um, 16. Okay, yeah. You are able to kind of, like, you tap in, you take needle, and kind of, like, wait, like, you kind of scrape it around, finding, like, the perfect place. And you just kind of hit it. And there is a sound. Um, make a stealth check for me. Just flat. Okay. Just straight stealth check. 21. 21. Yep. Um, you... Like, it shatters and starts to spider web. But because it's, like, such a small point of contact, it shatters and it kind of, like, falls away. And there is a sound, but you're able to just slink on in. No one has seen you. Um, now, you get inside, and there is, like I said, this, like, little reception area that isn't, like, well kept, but it, like, looks nice enough. Um, and there's a whole thing of keys on behind. Uh, can I make a perception check to see if any key looks particularly, like, special? Oh, yeah, make a perception check. Uh, 25. 25. 
you're you're looking and there's nothing there's no key that looks special that's okay. just like off the bat no key that looks special but you do see like cell numbers on each one like labeled on each cell um and there is uh this like book this book that the receptionist was like writing in um i'm gonna take a little peek at that book so remember picturing this there's like little doll porcelain like wooden <laughs> doll walking up scrambling on top of this desk and kind of like lifting the book up <laughs> start rifling through the pages make an investigation check for me oh that's not good uh eight eight okay you you're you're starting to able to be able to find it but like this you've opened to the wrong page and it actually is kind of a struggle for you to flip the pages being so small and this is kind of like a heavy ledger and you s started clearly a while ago and you're like oh god where is it where is it where is it where is it um what that does is that you're able to get there but time is passing and you are starting to hear um footsteps coming from the door where you saw the receptionist like leave uh i am going to get off the desk mm -hmm. and like scuttle towards the door mm -hmm. and see if i can't like slip past by when they cross the threshold okay yeah so do you close the book or do you leave it open um i try to close the book but i'm not gonna spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to do it okay um give me a sleight of hand check with disadvantage well it's gonna be a nine <laughs> okay um i've been rolling a lot of twos this is payback so you go to the uh door um i know i'm making you do a lot of stealth checks but you're going to have to give me one stealth check as this door slowly opens. And again, it's not like a receptionist. It's just like the, it's the person who is like the guard behind the counter. Uh, 17. Kind of opens the door. Okay. 17. Um, you slink on by. Uh, make a perception check. Twenty-seven. As you slink on by, you do hear her just go. Wait a minute. That's not how I left you. What in the hells is that? Oh, wow. Well, and, 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 like, you just hear... You, with that very high perception check, you're just, like, at the other side of the door. You hear her, like, walking towards what you're pretty certain is, like, the window. Mm -hmm. What in the hells is that? While... Yeah. While they're doing that, I'm going to just see if there is, like... Anything that's like a pile of things, like, like, because I'm going to just go into doll stealth mode and doll it up. Um, yeah, gotcha. Um, so the door that she came from, um, is, as you look back, uh, The, the door where she came from, sorry, let me, I'm just kind of, the maps will be out here next time we play. I kind of didn't prepare fully for them to be on Roll20, but I do have them. Um, you kind of go into a, a hallway that extends um, to like the east. So right now you're just in like a hallway, a pretty stark hallway at the moment. Um, and in each area, you can kind of see that there are big doors, but there's no piles at the moment right now. 
um, in this hallway. It's pretty clean and barren. Um, but one of the doors is open, like, to your left. And you go in and you see that this is clearly, like, a a barracks room, like a dorm room of some kind. It, there's, like, a couple beds um, and some... And no one seems to be in here uh, right now. Does it sound like this person's coming after me? You don't hear anyone coming after you. I'm gonna wait a beat to see if anyone's coming after me. Um, how long do you wait? Um, 45 seconds. Okay. With that high perception check, you do still hear her every so often, it kind of coming in and out, in and out. Um, you do hear her talk to someone else, like another pair of feet kind of enter and she goes, look at that. Gloss. I think we have an intruder. It had to be quite small. Like that's impossible here? Okay, well. Start fanning out. It could have just been a little rock. No. My book wasn't where it was supposed to be. Someone touched it, I'm certain. Alright, fan out. Um, and you start to hear footsteps coming your way. But they're not, like, in chase mode. You just start to hear that, like, okay, guards have been alerted, and they're starting to move throughout the area. Okay. I'm gonna go under one of the beds and just hide, but also, like, act like a doll. Yeah. Um, make a stealth check with advantage, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, 23. 23. Um, you start to hear, like, hear the footsteps going by um there are some other guards in other rooms that are like what's going on um gertrude believes that there might be an intruder so just if you if you see anything just let me know an intruder what, what, what why broken window oh shit yeah but it's it's very small the one with bars so Right, okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out. All right. Um, and you start to just hear movement in general around you. Like, th th this place, it's not hot. Like, people aren't, like, running and freaking out. But there's just, people are now a little bit more, like, walking through the areas back and forth. You can hear footsteps going back and forth as you're still hiding under the bed. Um, downstairs. Away from where you are at the moment. Gulzog. You hear... Make a perception check for me. Fifteen? Fifteen. You hear some, like, banging. Like, going down the hallways. Um, and you're... You're not sure what's going on, and then you just you hear Carmaria's voice going. It, what, what's going on? What's happening? My, my guard's voice. Yeah, you hear your guard's voice, Cara Maria. You're like, what's going on? What's happening? Not to you, to someone else. Yeah. You don't hear what the other one is saying, but you hear like some muffled like. Hum, hum, hum. You sure about that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, keep looking, and um, I'll make sure nothing comes down here. All right. And how much time is this since my bathroom trip? Um, this is about like with how everything is shaped out like about like three hours after it's been okay. a bit it's been a bit um 
uh, Sir Talifar. Yes, yes. You can still fly, right? Um, yeah. Can you fly right now? Yes. I need you to check out the the lamp in our in our cell. The, all right. Is there a reason I should do that? Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Something's going on. All right. I, I think if you can fly up and figure out how to disable it, make everything dark. I have dark vision. I think now's a good chance for me to take a, another bathroom trip. Call the guard over. And when I tell you, you kill the lights, and I conquer real good, and then we we make a break for it. I'm whispering that. No, I know. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. I'll I'll, I'll go look at it. Um. So Talavar will fly up to the yeah. light. So if 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 you were me, what would you do? If if you were able to see the light, what would you do about it? Well, I would first try to see if it was made of fire or of some sort of magic or like fireflies or something. Right. And and then if it looked like something that was some sort of device that I could break, I would let me Golzog know. All right. What do you see? Well, it, it, it seems to be... It seems, it seems to be... Magic. Okay. Which means that magic is working at this height. So, if we are able to maybe just... Lower it... It should turn off... Good to know. Can you claw through the thing that it's hanging from? <laughs> of course, I can try. Do you want to work on it until it's down to one thread? And then, uh... And then I'll let you know when you should chomp that last thread? Yes, of course. A little tiny One claw. last thing. Yes, well, yes. When the guard comes over, I'll try to conquer right away. But if I don't get her... Can you fly around her and try to distract her? Fly, really get in her face? Um, that sounds like a lot of... You're telling me to do a lot of things now. That, it's two things. I need you to kill the lights when I tell you. All right. And then after after that, get in the guard's face. All right. Uh, let me go to work. Um, and you can see Sir Talavar starts to swipe at this thing. And mm -hmm. is... For a good amount of time... Very ineffective. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, almost missing. Cool. It's just kind of scraping it. Um, so this you, getting it to be timed correctly might not be exactly what you want it to be at the moment because her Talavar is struggling, but uh, he is making his way. Working. He's while working. he's doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say, uh, "Excuse me, guard." Um, make a persuasion check. Uh. 17. Yeah. You know, back in the Broken Spine Canyon, they made fun of me for having a small bladder. Uh. I gotta go again. Um, make a deception check. Botch. <laughs> well, <laughs> the guard just kind of goes, um, oh, all right. Yeah, I understand. Um, hey, you know, I was, um, I was thinking, I was a little rude to you before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was rude. I, I, I yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm, I'm a... I'm not stupid about my situation here. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you have some. You know, uh, I'm from. Have you ever heard of a place called Neverwinter? Have I? 
Make a history check. God damn it. Eight. Eight. Um, you haven't heard of most places other than the Broken Spine Canyon. You know the Broken Spine yeah. Canyon, and that's what you thought the world was for a while? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't really say that I have. I, uh, Other than here, haven't really been outside of the canyon. Understood, understood. Um, yeah. Um, basically, it, it's, it is on the same plane of existence as you, at least. And so... We probably found ourselves here in similar situations, so I understand your plot. I, 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 I'm sympathetic to it. Um, uh, yeah. So where where's your uh, your friends your friends from? Uh, which friends? Um, the one that's trying to break you out of here. I am not aware of anyone trying to break me out of here. Right, but you you were gonna try to break out, weren't you? Oh come on, I don't really know how I could. Uh, I'm not uh, particularly familiar with this type of cage. I mean, the only thing we really have in the Broken Spine Canyon for prisoners is like cages made of bones and wood, mm -hmm. and this is a full wall without even any bars. I figured. When they were taking me somewhere, I was like, oh, I'll break the bars and I'll run out. But uh, there's no bars here, so. Right. But you were probably thinking of trying to conk me on the head. I mean, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure what uh, manner of creature you are, no offense. So I'm not sure what a head conk would None do. What? None taken. Let me just say this, right? If you break out of here... I will have to try to kill you. I don't want to, so please do not put that on me. Now, I'm telling you this right now. You're not going to the bathroom until we figure out a situation upstairs. What? What's going on upstairs? What's going on is, personally, I think one of your friends is here to try to help you get out. I mean, that does sound like them. I do love my friends. Um, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Here. You just sit there. Sitting pretty. And uh, shut the fuck up. And, I, um, I, what? I do kind of have to go, though. So I mean, just let me know when the situation is handled. Uh, and then... Um, we'll do. Yeah. You can and for while, sure while go I'm looking, wherever you want. You can for sure go at any point you want to, right there. I, I, I would prefer not to. Is, is the bucket still an option? Um, Just while I wait. While I wait for the good bath. You know, it would have been, but I don't like uh, liars. So I Like I said, wasn't trying to lie. Yeah. Doing the dance. I know she... Yeah, yeah. She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and you just like, stop hearing her talk entirely. Uh, did I get a look at her through the cell while we were talking? Uh, make a perception check. 17. 17. Uh, yeah, what are you looking for? I'm looking for... Uh, again, this is... The first one is secondary to the second one, but the... Uh, firstly, if I can try to, on a second look figure out what kind of species she is or race. And then on, and most importantly, like not to immediately be like, Oh, like what level is she? But like, could I take her as sort of, um, make sure make a history check and an insight check. Cool. That's a three for history. Yeah. You don't know what she is. And a 14 for insight. 14 for insight. You know, you have uh, are almost unclear of your own strength at this point. You don't really know who you could or could not take. Um, you could, you're looking at her, and you can tell with your abilities, you could maybe stop her. Um, okay. Like you could probably take her. Um. 
And based on the, like the people, the things that you have already taken down, you might be more powerful than you remember. But like, I think in some ways with that fourteen, it's almost like you're unsure of your own strength and you don't even know. Sure. Yeah. Um, you're, uh, you're, un you're you're unsure. Cool. Cool. Golzog is gonna wave Sir Talvar back down to him for now. You tell me to do one thing, and then you ask me to do another. I'm I'm working here. I know, and I'm saying hold off for right now. There's been a development. Okay, because I am getting damn near close. Uh, and you look up, and he hasn't gotten anywhere with this. Okay. You're doing great, bud. Um, so, she said that they're dealing with a situation upstairs. And she thinks it's someone here to get us out. I don't see how they know it could be for us versus any of the hundreds of other prisoners in here. But you said that the... Uh, the light is on by some magical means, right? And it's up there? I, I believe so, yes. Okay, well. Uh, how high up is the... Is I'm gonna the say, I'm going to say the, the, the cell is like... It's like a 15 foot. It's pretty tall. Okay, cool. Um, and there's no way that I could like shimmy up one of the corners of the room... With my monk I mean, dexterity, you could, could I? try, for sure. Golzog is going to say to Sir Tower, okay, hang tight. And he's going to get into a corner of the room, again, a good one that you can't see from the door, <laughs> and try to shimmy up the, like, basically like in a possessed person movie, mm -hmm. up into the corner of the room make, like a possessed person. Yes, make an acrobatics check for me. Dirty 20. You're able to kind of like get it's it's a, an interesting thing because it's not like the traction's weird because they're mattresses, but you're able to yeah. kind of sink your hands in and get like clumps in, um, and you're able to wedge yourself in good in one of the corners, and you're able to get okay. up. Okay. Okay. Now <laughs> this is interesting, Sir Talavar. Um Why? I'm bored. Golzog is gonna cast mage hand like right next to him yeah right up there it complete it still is like it like turns on mm -hmm. you can feel the magic. okay he's gonna move the mage hand down to the bottom of the room you can feel it at around like from five feet from where you are yeah so the top five feet of my cell mm -hmm. i can do magic in yeah, but the know, magic dissipates. Yeah, make an insight check. <laughs> Seven. You don't know why, but that's the uh, that's where the magic starts working. You found okay. the magic zone. <laughs> Sir Talavar, this is great. Up here, these top five feet that we are in, Golzug's just squeezed yeah. <laughs> in the corner. Uh -huh. um, we can do magic up here. Oh, good. So, what's your most powerful spell? Um, well, I, 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 it, it's it's not, uh, you know, sometimes I don't want to I, I don't want to say it because if if I did, then 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 you would then you would know. But, How about this? But oh. um, I, my, my my most powerful thing, I think, is that um I do have I have this ability, right, to make um to 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 make a person look like another to be another thing. Or I could um make um a major illusion of some kind, or make the ground look like it's not the ground that it is. And you so hang on. Could you do that to the ground and if well, you're still up here, would that work on the ground in the cell? I don't believe so, because I believe that that's where the magic would go. and that the, the ma a... Okay, cool. But, uh, but in these five feet, I can do some stuff. Could you make the ceiling look like it's on fire? Yes. Okay, what, what else? Could, could you turn me into kind of whatever you want? Yes, I, I could uh, turn you into basically anything. Um, as long as you're stayed within this five feet. Of course. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what we're working with here. 
Uh, right, 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 of course. Uh, so, so you can do, so just above the yeah. table, he can uh, do major illusion. He can do major illusion. His, you asked for most powerful, and I'd say it's major yeah. illusion, um, hallucinatory terrain, polymorph. Okay. Um, he has another one, but he hasn't said that one yet. Let me ask you this. Uh, you got anything else? No. <laughs> Give me an insight check. Insight. Yeah. 22. 22. Uh, he's clearly holding back something, but he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to tell you. Sir Talifar, I say this with all respect. Holding out on me is just going to keep us from escaping uh, faster. Make a persuasion check. 15. All right, I can make people do things sometimes. Suggestion. That's, Suggestion. <laughs> that's terrific. Um, Could you get the guard to walk in here and then Again, hand me the keys? No, because she's below so. the five feet. she's below the five feet. Even So even if you were up here, got it. Well, that is tough. <laughs> I think on that is tough. We'll pan back. <laughs> yeah, up. sure. Um, pan back up. Um, Zara, during this time, th the foot traffic has gotten like uh, more intense. What are you? What What are you doing as you kind of are? Just so I know, like, are you staying hidden until you kind of hear it die down, or are you trying mm -hmm. to keep moving forward? Um, I am going to see if I can perceive whether or not there's like a certain area that they are most anxious about. Uh, okay, from underneath the bed, that would be hard. So I'd be right. giving you, like, an insight check or an investigation check with disadvantage. Can I, like, sneak? Because this room is still empty, right? Um, This room has had people come in and out of it now. Um, okay. But you've been unseen because you haven't moved at all, and you're under the bed as a doll. Um, but if you want to move out of the room, it will be another stealth check, but... Uh, did, did anyone say anything while they were in my room? No, it was just kind of like okay. a cursory glance of like, okay, nothing in here. And then like moving on, you know? Um, while the room is empty, I'm going to be like, cat. Cat. You there? Cat. Cat. Say cat. please. Say please. Cat. Say please. Uh, I, 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 I mean, crawl from out from under the bed and I like look around and see if the coast is clear. Um, make a perception check and a stealth check. Ooh, not 20 stealth. Not 20 stealth. Okay. And not a great perception. Uh, 12. Yeah. God, I just botched twice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having a great day. <laughs> I'm, I just botched twice. Um, you see, uh, th there's literally a guard that's going like talking with a another guard right outside the door. This just goes, well, we got to make sure that people go like, we got to be careful. We got to be careful. Careful of what? Well, well, we just got to be careful because if anyone goes down this set of stairs right next to us, if any of them go down that flight of stairs directly next to us, they'll go right into the cells. Right. So we're like the last line of defense, yeah? Yes. If anyone goes by these stairs down <laughs> this way, those ones, not the ones on the other end, the other ones on the other end go to a different place that aren't the cells. These stairs right here, the stairs that are right next to us on this side of the whole thing, that's where the cells are. Right. So yes, like it's, it's there's the bathroom, right? Right next to the bathroom. After like, the two, and then there's the cells. If you go down the stairs and we can't let anyone get any of the people that are downstairs. Right, so we gotta have, like, our eyes on it. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, that is clearly the place that I'm most anxious about. I don't know about you, but are you most anxious about that area of this place? Yes. I'm really anxious about it. I'm really, really fucking anxious about that staircase. And all of the prisoners who are down there. Because if they got released with any of the keys that are in that room over there, we would be fucked. Right. Okay. Well, we better make sure that no one gets those. Yeah, we we should make sure of that. But the truth is, I don't think anyone's here. Me neither. So that's what you hear <laughs> on my fucking double net ones. As we then move on over to... God damn it. We move on over to you. Uh, Marabella, you're walking through the streets with Pavel. Glory Hoof has spun off, like, to... Like, following behind. You were also told that that uh, horseshoe that you got. Um, basically, if, oh, you, right. if you break it, it's kind of like a potion of... It's like a vial of darkness, essentially. And that, like, you can just... Oh cast darkness on wherever you throw it or on yourself um if you need a, like a very quick um <laughs> bout of like just shade and shadow um pavel okay. says to you and has been saying to you on this whole walk mm-hmm. ed she was sent under cover into the lollipop guild. I know the cat's the lollipop guild, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's been talking about the cat. He's kind of trying to explain to you, like, why the cat thing made him recoil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Edie was sent in as a undercover agent, but I think she lost herself. Mm-hmm. The cat um, has an ability to make people believe that Essentially, anything is possible. That if you are able to f- face his trials, you will be granted wishes beyond belief. It, you know, it, it's it's very good marketing for him. The fact that the last person who was it is the Queen of Glass. You know, and, and anyone believes that they could be the Queen of Glass to some of these people in this city is almost like a myth. They don't even see her. She's down there, but no, they believe that the six. Founders of the city are the most powerful beings on earth, but those of us who remember, who are down there in the shit, we know what's happening, and we know what true power is. And I think that is what actually made her more susceptible to it. The fact that if she thought it was all a myth, a fake, maybe she would have not been so tempted, but she's seen the Queen of Glass, she knows. We lost So her, she, her. was she it, then? No, but she... We lost contact with her for a long time. And, um... Mm. We think she... Was trying to become it. She came back, though. She seems to have come to her senses. Glory Hoof is right. She's acting strange. Mm. Our, uh... Someone in our group was it. But... She's... You are, you are friends with uh, the person who was it. Mm-hmm. And you are alive. Yeah, she really liked fucking with the cat and tormenting it from the sound of it. She sounds. She would torment the cat. Yeah, he's like play my game, and she would say like no. And that drove the cat crazy. Well, the cat's like kind of obsessed with her. The cat is pretty mad. Already. Mm-hmm. But your friend sounds like a fucking maniac. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, good moments for sure, but definitely a lot of a. Uh... Did you. She, did just, you... she likes to kill stuff. Did, did you but lose her? In a good. <sighs> Physically, yes. We, we don't really know. Um, she went off to do a, miss- a mission which helped actually everyone get their memories back that's uh oh. did you ever recently get a kind of swath of memories come back that you'd forgotten that you'd forgot slowly but surely yes yeah. i remember well. children down there in the fields mm-hmm. and talking with them mm-hmm. but i have well, been you're welcome hearing... oh well thank you i've been hearing reports that other people are starting to fully remember that there is something going down 
on the surface. So yeah, we we sent we sent her off to the taut patch, which was like scarecrows. I don't want to say breeding grounds. I'll say cropland. We'll say cropland. That's where he grew his little brain monster things. So we sent her there to blow it up, and she did. But then she was gone, hmm. and I don't, I don't really know what happened there. So we're we're still trying to find her. Um, well, I hope for the best. Yeah, me too. I could use. But weird shit happens here. If I've learned anything. Which is why I probably could use a fucking maniac at some point. The truth is, is that... Look. I mean, look at me. I'm a little tin soldier. This whole place is too big for me. I, I, I can't get my head around it or my arms around it at any point in time. But... Can I tell you? This place... I was here... At the beginning of it all. And this place used to sing. Not just this city, I mean all of it. Prismere. This place was beautiful. It was... For those of us who remember... It was a f fun place. Children would come in and... They would be conquerors or save the world or... Some of us would be villains, some of us would be heroes, allies, and it would just be... It was like we were playing... Playing a part in their... Their lives. It was a beautiful place, and... Have you ever experienced this? You said that you've dealt with... Dead. You bury people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, me dad and I, we work at a graveyard. It's our, it's our burial grounds, basically, so we, we put people to rest. Then you understand what I'm about to say. Looking at this place now, it's like... Looking at a loved one with an illness that you cannot cure, but that they will not die. Mm. I would love for there to be a cure. But... I think it needs to stop. And that is a very... hard thing to ask of people. To stop. Especially those who have found power here. And when one of them is secretly an assassin. All this to say is that I am not... I am worried that the the two could be anyone. It could be a member of the Council of Six. It could be Evie. Could be your friend. And that's yeah. why you haven't seen her. Very starts to pass away, isn't it? But... <sighs> I think that we are going to do some good in this city. You all coming is... you Even without an insight check, you can see uh, Pavel choke, like, holding back something. Mm -hmm. You all coming is very... It fills me with hope. So, we will get your friend out of there. Um, Maribel will just like put her hand on his back, which I'm guessing actually might not be too low down for her since she's a it's not, I mean, he's not that low down, but you're able to. He's not like um, a life-size tin shoulder, like tiny, tiny. No, he's a, he's a little bit taller. Um, okay. But as you're walking to the like district, make a stealth check for me and this isn't Ooh. like you slinking to the shadows this is just like you not being conspicuous okay um 
I will go ahead and cast Cunning Wisdom. Of course. <laughs> of course. Because it's all I have. <laughs> okay, Stealth. Mm -hmm. Static, you say? 15? 15. Incredible. Pavel rolled a 22. That is, you both passed. That is... <gasps> You're good. You're, sneaky, you're, you're sneaky, good. You're good. You're sneaky, you're, sneaky, basically, sneaky. you're just not attract, getting a like, um, having any guards. Don't yeah, you're not be being suspicious. suspicious. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go into, um, you walk past a few people, and also it seems as though make make an insight check as you're walking towards this place. And Pavel points out where, um, the Pillar Fort prison is, but you're sixteen going past it. Sixteen, Pavel goes. Usually there are guards posted outside of this one. This is not their place. They, they they post guards everywhere but their place, which they think makes it more, less conspicuous, but it actually makes it quite obvious which place is the most important to them. Right. But this one, there are no guards here. And he can kind of, he looks over and sees that there are some people actually like walking in and around. Um the uh around the compound that he pointed at there might be something going on in there like something to our advantage maybe potentially they seem perturbed they are mm -hmm. but maybe we're working well in chaos um and once the distraction and once the distraction happens with our friends, maybe their attention will be so split that they'll just completely crumble. Who knows? I like to believe that this is a lucky thing. Yes. No, I like that too. And honestly, they don't seem—I don't know—the two we interacted with didn't really seem like particularly smart. Like just a bunch of busybodies following orders. Okay. There are all kinds. The smart ones are the ones who have actual positions in the city. The rest... Right. Again. It is such a horrible thing to say these words. The rest are on payroll. I'm telling you, capitalism is a terrifying hex. It oh, it's a scourge. This city. It polluted it's this scourge. city down to the bone, to the marrow. Mm. Mm. But... They work for money, and they they want it bad. Anyway, right. let us get set up. Uh, you two walk into the warehouse. Um, you find a good position. Pavel also kind of tells you where he believes a good entry point would be. Um, mm -hmm. Like how far down you need to dig and how long it's going to be. You can already tell that like you're about 90 feet away from the building. Okay. So... You don't know exactly how down you're going to like dig, but you'll be digging for a little bit that way. But your mm -hmm. speed is pretty okay. Um, you're getting set up. And he just kind of goes, all right, I guess we have to tell them to start doing their distraction. And they haven't already. We have Golzog. Wedged into the top five feet of his cell. Learning things about his magic, like about magic and how to potentially stage an ambush. We have <laughs> Zara inside the compound in one of the rooms on the top, on the upper level, who has been told information she should not know about where exactly to go and why and what's down there. We have Marabella and Pavel in the warehouse off to the side, about to dig a tunnel down down deep, which they don't know yet, will be taking them directly into the area where Golzog will be if they dig correctly. Oh, and we shit. have a group of Tone, Tomas, and Griselda doing whatever the fuck John and Natasha come up with on the other end of maybe town. And that is where we will end this session. This prison break is might be insane. <laughs> this, is, this is such a hilarious amount of party split that I can't I, I, I am trying to wrap my head around it but it is fucking it's crazy. hilarious yeah, um, each person is their own adventure each person is having their own adventure um, which I'm hoping at some point will coalesce I'm starting 
I'm starting to really get where my mom's coming from when she says, I just like it when everyone's together. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, so that is where we are. Where we are. Um, we will not be back next week, everyone, before we do plugs. Next week, again, as I said at the top of the show, that's Halloween. You go enjoy that. But if you aren't really doing anything, I don't know for certain. Watch the socials. Watch the Discord. I might, on Halloween, even if it's in the afternoon, do a DM's diary just because I haven't done one in forever. A lot has changed. A lot of the party composition has changed. A lot of information is new. Fable Rise is a whole thing. Where I think the campaign's going, how far I think we are into it, all that kind of stuff. I do want to do one of those soon, and I think you should join me. And it will probably be on that day. But, um... I haven't talked to the group fully about this. We should be back the week after. If not, I'll let you know. For this thing, I really want, need everyone to be here. So we will probably wait to do this session until we are all for sure able to do it. Because this one feels like it's uh, consequential to what's going on. Um, but that being said, does anyone here have anything they want to plug? Yeah. Um... Sorry, Marty's box. Lit. Yeah, I'll like, go. He was... Oh, Jasmine, oh, please. Okay, he was delayed, so he did talk. Did um, I? Sw did I? Yeah. You're sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Again. Yeah. You're um, no, you go ahead. I'm sure Marty's gonna say something. Maybe the same. Uh, the I reason am. why there was so many weird, weird orb uh, in the in the chat is uh, me, Marty, John, and our friend Katie uh, started uh, a video game company, uh, and we made our first game at a uh, beginner's game jam and you can play that game uh if you and there's stevie uh sorry yeah, no 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 i love stevie don't be sorry um She's really all losing our, her mind all our socials are weird orb except for twitter we're weird or games on twitter mm -hmm. uh and if you go to any of those socials click the link you can play uh the game we made for the game jam which one's called place. dump that body and okay. you're playing as a mob goon trying to dispose of bodies and evidence. It's very good. Uh, has some incredible art by Marty Abbey Schneider. Thank you, oh, he's man. Right there. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd go play it if I were you. Uh, anything Thanks, else? Thanks, Jasmine. You knew the social names better than I did. I don't remember them all. Uh, but yeah, um, go check out to, Weird Org. I wanted yeah. to shout out that I think actually this week is our one year. I think it is. I think this might have been yeah because we start well. Did we start There's no way we could possibly know that for sure, right? We got it. We got a month in before holiday stuff. That's and I'm cool. Sure we started, so I think it's been exactly a year, which is pretty cool. I think so. That's so fun. Just, thank you so much, everyone. So just happy um, anniversary. Happy anniversary to all of us here. Um, it's been a very fun. Just time. getting them off by a month. I, th I think we were off by a month, yeah. But, happy upcoming. Hey, ha happy upcoming anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, again, we are barreling towards, you know, I think we're not close to the end, but I think we're closer to the end than people think we might be. Because um, we'll see what happens. Ooh. You know, things okay. might start to... Once whatever happens in Fable Rise happens, and um, once, you know, maybe if our gang takes down one of the leaders, things might start to accelerate. So we'll see what happens, but that's a ways off. We still have to get a fucking B and B to be the best hotel in the fucking city, right? That's the main goal at, at this moment. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, once again, WGA, WGA strong forever, but also SAG strong. We are back in the negotiation room. Um, please give us support. Yeah, after it's some been insulting <laughs> negotiations from yes. the uh, from the AMPTP and. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been support the after rough. strike, baby. Um, uh, adore you all. We'll see you when we see you. We'll keep an eye on our socials. If you want to support us, subscription on um, Twitch is always fun. Our Patreon would also mean a lot to us. Um, the Discord is now locked behind the Patreon because we had to give you know the patron members something, and also we're going to start curating the Discord a little bit more. Um, so if you want to join our community, which is a lovely community that is so loyal and fun. everyone's been so nice, so nice, yeah. too nice. Um, the fan arts <laughs> too incredible. nice. Go ahead and um, see if you can uh, if you want to support us there. And if not, just watching and listening is support enough. Trust us. That is means the world to us. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.